let's look at some of the tests that are usually used by nurse practitioners and doctors as well uh, to determine uh, the diagnosis. Abdominal exam to detect inflammation, that would be what, doctor? Right. Well, after the history, which is probably the most important component in making the diagnosis, the abdominal exam is, is very important. Um, we look for signs of localized inflammation in the right lower quadrant. Um, we see that the muscle in that side of the abdomen becomes rigid, mm -hmm. uh, secondary to the inflammation, and that's usually uh, an indication that there is peritonitis going on. Uh, a urine test to rule out urinary tract infection, um, you know, that's a screening test just to exclude uh, a UTI as, as cause of the problem. Uh, rectal examination is something we refrain from doing in children. Uh, it can be quite uh, traumatic, and usually, uh, in most cases, we don't need to do that. Um, blood test to see if your body is fighting infection, that would be an elevation in your white blood cells. Okay. But uh, it's a very nonspecific test. It would also uh, be elevated for anything else that would, any other type of infection that would be going on. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of imaging, we rely heavily on ultrasounds rather than CAT scans. Uh, we try to refrain from using CAT scans in children, not to expose them to the ionizing radiation, which does have a life term. A lifetime uh, risk of malignancy. So we, we, as opposed to adults who which tend to get plenty of CAT scans, uh, children we try not to not to subject them to that kind of exam. You said a word peritonitis, what is that? It's inflammation of the lining okay. of the abdominal cavity.